So I just got home and I picked up some packs that I bought on sale that I think we can make so much money off of. I'm gonna show you guys what it is because this was insane. All right, so now that I got my jacket off and we're ready to go, I actually wanna show you guys what I picked up. And it may not seem special at first, but I picked up a couple of these 2022 Yu-Gi-Oh! Mega Tins. Now this tin has the potential for cards like Cross Out, Diviner, the alternate arts for Dark Magician Girl, Blue Eyes and Red Eyes, a lot of really good cards in this set. And I got these on sale for $10. So I'm gonna be real, if I'm able to pull any half decent secret rare in here, then we're gonna be able to make our money back and maybe even make money off of this set. So I wanna open it up and have some fun doing so today. So I don't have just one, but I actually have two of the 2022 Megatons, which is crazy because they're almost two years old at this point, and we were able to get them on sale for 10 bucks. And 10 bucks for a set like this one is actually absolutely insane. There are so many good cards in here. I know, like I mentioned, Diviner is one of them. You have the Cross Out, which is in here. I don't remember if this one had Ash and whatnot, but it does have Prosperity, that's for sure. I can't remember exactly everything else it had, but a bunch of secrets. I remember I opened a case of this when it came out. And again, this was two years ago, right? Keep in mind, there was no promos. Unfortunately, this set didn't come with any promos, but we still do get three of the mega packs. And then we have one more tin, like I said. So we have two tins to open up today and we are going to try. We're going to see if we can make our money back. And if anything, if we can make more money, because notoriously, these tins are tough to make your money back. There's typically a lot of really good reprints in terms of like the actual card value, but in terms of monetary value, like not card value to the game monetary value it's a little bit harder to make your money back just because these are all reprints again and this these sets do get opened up quite frequently and so for that reason it does oversaturate the market sometimes however we got six pack of the 2022 pharaoh gods mega 10 let's get into our first pack here like i said we're hoping for that diviner i think what diviner is like 22 usd at this point if you're american saying usd i know it might sound a little bit weird but it's like 22 bucks right now so 22 dollars for a 10 dollar tin is absolutely insane i know uh prosperity is still like six to seven bucks so there's still value there right so we got uh metal flows uh regulator i'm gonna be honest i don't remember everything that's in this set though i don't even remember a lot of the commons and the supers so we got a synchro transition paleozoic uh Camber Raster, Paleozoic, Calaria as our super rare. We got Soul Energy Max, which I believe was actually exclusive to this set, this tin specifically. We got Alvain, good ultra rare. We got a Ghost Ogre. Okay, yeah, the hand traps as our secret rares. I'm not gonna be mad with the hand trap. Never gonna be mad with uh, secret rare staples like this, right? So Ghost Ogre, and that's it. Okay, so this one only comes with one secret rare. It doesn't come with two like uh, the other, the newer set does, right? Then yeah, the newer set does come with two secret rares. This one only does come with one. So we do have a little bit less odds to hit the diviner however again you hit diviner you hit extravagance it's not extravagance prosperity or is extravagance older also in here i don't remember but you hit prosperity you hit um you know one of the alternate arts for uh the uh you know the dark magician girl the i can't remember the names the blue eyes the red eyes all those you hit any of those you're safe okay so now let me see if i can get back to talking we got an archfiend staff ghost sister this was a good super rare as well i do like that they reprint a lot of the hand traps we got ice jade tremora as a super rare the break ruin god okay we're getting a lot of the god card support and uh the revived gun god okay this was actually a good ultra rare though i'm not gonna lie so a lot of the god cards we've been getting in this tin but let's see if we can pull despy and Quiritus. you know what this one's not that great but we move on here guys we still have you know lots of packs to go and again because i got them so cheap because i got these literally at 10 bucks at 10 it's a really easy one hit and i can make back pretty much all the money i spent right and again it's not really necessarily about money sometimes i just do like these fun openings with you guys right i don't do a lot of openings on the channel but i do enjoy when i do do them arm dragon blitz that's a pretty good one that's a pretty good one. Oh, you know what another rare is in here arm dragon flash and uh, funny enough i do need a flash for a deck profile i want to show you guys soon so that is something that could be coming up laundry we got uh, masquerade beast king unleashed okay cool 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 dark honest over here we got another ultra machina unclasp and then hopefully we can pull a good super rare, not super rare. Wow, secret rare. Can I speak? Arm Dragon Thunder level seven. You know what? Not mad with that one either. Again, I was just talking about bringing you guys this deck profile. I just need a rare Arm Dragon Flash. You know what's funny enough? That's the card that I'm missing, an Armed Dragon Flash, and it's a rare in this set. And speaking of rares, there's something I want to talk about with this set. So because you only get one rare per pack, some of the rares are actually pretty tough to find because there's a lot of rares in this set, and you're only getting three rares per tin. So there's not really that many rares you're getting per tin. 
and uh, it's a little bit harder to get some of the rares in this set, funny enough. But again, we're here for the secret rares. We're here to see what we can pull. All right, let's see if we can get something good here. Believe, believe, believe. If you believe, we can achieve, right? We got a Sun Avalon. We got Screams of the Brandy. I think we got two Ultra Rares. We got the Borg. Apex Predation. Okay, nothing crazy, but... Ruddy Rose Dragon. Okay, you know what? Not too bad either. Not too bad either. So honestly, you know what? Nothing so far, but it's fine. It's fine. Nothing crazy so far. The Arm Dragon is pretty cool. The Ghost Ogre is also pretty cool. Uh, you know what's funny? Uh, there is an opportunity to get misprints in this set. I got a misprint in my case, I remember, where, where the names were like shifted super, super high. So there is a possibility for misprints. You're never going to be mad with misprints. I think it's always kind of cool to pull a misprint. And so uh, that is something, you know what? I wouldn't be mad if we pulled a misprint here either. So there's a lot of really good cards that I kind of want to pull now that I'm talking about it, right? You got the, even as, as far as a rare, like I'd pull anything decent and I'd be happy with it. But we do got a uh, slower swallow, Dogmatica Genesis. We got to start a Synchron. This is a good Ultra Rare. And let's get a Diviner. Let's get that Diviner. Nope. Ooh, I saw the monster. I thought it was a Diviner. Okay. Nothing crazy on this one. Yeah, we... Okay. Let me be honest. My favorite pull so far has been this Thunder Level 7. Maybe the Ghost Ogre is up there. But the... Uh, the Arm Dragon Thunder Level 7 is, is something that... Uh, probably is my favorite pull so far. We got one more pack, though, to go. One more pack. Let's see if we can make something happen in this last pack magic. Guys... This was, I was a lot more excited at the beginning of this video because, you know, $10 tins, you're never going to be mad with $10 tins, but uh, it's looking a little rough here. Okay, you know what? Let's just end it on a armed dragon uh, flash or flash. Flash is a uh, rare. So let's, let's end on that. Let's end on that rare. We're able to end on that rare and then a diviner. Okay, we're not ending on that rare. We got an M pin. Oh, shout out flu. High ritual arts. Sprite's Blessing. We got one more Ultra Rare. Lina. Okay, that's actually not a... Ooh, was that a spell card I saw? I wanted to put it at the back. I think I saw a spell card, though. All right, so... Yeah, yeah, I think it's a spell card. Uh, could be Prosperity. Could be Prosperity. That would be really, really good. Could be Prosperity. All right, I think the last card here. Three, two, one. Huh? No, it's not the last card. And three, two, one. Prosperity, let's go! Let's go! That is a good way to end off the opening. There we go. I know this got reprinted in the rarity collection. I know this got reprinted as different rarities and it's a little bit cheaper now than it was, but that is a good pull. I am not sad with that one. You know what? Now that kind of made up the tins. I'm not going to lie. I think this is still like a six to $7 card. And you know, when you're paying $10 Canadian, keep in mind, this is Canadian. So these tins, if you were to convert it to USD, it's like seven USD, maybe 750 USD. So when you're buying a tin for $7 USD and you're pulling a card that's worth $7, makes up the whole tin, I'm not gonna be mad. That is a good pull though. Oh baby, okay. You know what? That I think made it up. That made my uh, my me feel a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was a little bit rough at the beginning. It was looking rough, but you know what? We made up for it. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. We didn't pull a diviner. Maybe I should've got more tins. I don't know how many they had left. I. Maybe I should've got more. I don't know, we'll see. But thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If I can go back to that store and get some more for 10 bucks, best believe I'm going back to that store to get more for 10 bucks. So thank you guys, I appreciate every single one of you. Let me know what you guys think of these openings down in the comment section down below so I can make more of them happen to you. If you guys wanna see these, I just realized I said happen to you, happen for you. If you guys wanna see more of these, then I can do that. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. With that, it's Vanko signing out. Peace. Make sure to like and subscribe, don't forget. Bye.